when you find out what didn't happen, it kind of leads you down the path of what possibly could happen. And I wish more people would do that, that were there or that know things. I wish more people would come forward with whatever little pieces of information that they may have. And that at least we know our fact. You, and you, then you can work backwards. You think there is more information, more, more people that could come forward and tell? Uh, I sure do. I sure do, because mm-hmm. there were more than Ted Kennedy on that island that night. There was there was multiple people. There's probably eight or nine or ten more people that are alive today that at least know a little piece of the puzzle. And if you can take that little piece of the puzzle and you can deduce what didn't happen, then you can work backwards and probably come up with a good theory. I could tell you what didn't happen, and that's whatever they said at the inquest, because it doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. So it's logically not possible. What do you mean? What what didn't make sense? Um, him diving in the water and, and swimming across the channel. There have been multiple reports that that's impossible. Um, the side of the car it, on the passenger side is absolutely crushed from the front fender to the back fender. Well, water doesn't do that. So it, uh, going off a bridge and hitting the water does not crush an Oldsmobile. And an Oldsmobile 88, they're made of steel, I believe. So, so there's a lot of stuff that we don't know or that has been left out of the big picture. What do you think, um, that, what do you think that means? What, what I, is speculation? I, well, there's a lot of different theories out there. There was a theory that there was an accident before the bridge and that Mary Jo was hurt, um, which would also you know, go towards the blood on her blouse and her maybe being disorientated too. Um, There was a theory that he was never in the car when it went off the bridge. Um, There was a theory that there were other people in the car besides Ted Kennedy. There was a couple other, uh, maybe a woman or a man or, so there's, there's a lot of different theories that kind of make more sense than the official version of what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that makes if they were as there was an accident, she was hurt, and even if there weren't other people, for him to then push it off of a of of a bridge probably would make a little more a little more sense because it doesn't. I it, think, it, go ahead. I think the saddest thing uh, for Gwen and Joe was that no one has ever come to them and said, "You know, I saw Mary Jo on the on the island. Uh, she was happy. She was looking forward to her new job." These girls all came together because they had scattered and this was their last chance to see each other. Bobby had died. A few of them, including Mary Jo, had been chosen to um clean up the office, send things to the museum, send things home, send things to the office. It was a very tragic uh uh, t- task for them because they had loved the senator, and um, so this was a chance for them to be together. But no one has ever come to Gwen and Joe and said, "I saw this. I saw Mary Jo. She was happy. Um, we were looking forward to this or that." And so they've never had the last few hours of their daughter's life, and I think that's a terrible tragedy. So wait, and so wait. None of the her. none of the Boiler Girls ever got together no. with the family, and no, they were at her funeral. But Gwen and Joe were so sedated, to tell you the truth, that um, and and none of them were inter- ever introduced to any of us, so we never mm-hmm. got a chance to talk to them either. And after it, uh, when it was calmed down, and they thought that uh, well, now the senator will come forward and talk to them, he did call them, ask them to come to Hyannisport, and uh, they thought, well, now now we'll find out what happened that night. But when they got there, they walked into a cocktail party. He came over and said hello and disappeared. And so they turned around and went home and more or less hibernated the rest of their lives. But he never, as far as I know, never even said, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. You know, touching on that, um, not only did Gwen and Joe lose their only daughter in a highly publicized accident, car wreck, whatever you want to call it, but... Then they didn't get their daughter's last lives. Then they were abandoned by everybody that was there. And then on top of all of that, you got to remember that they got all these nasty letters from the public oh, accusing yeah. them of, of hiding things or, or not getting an autopsy because they wanted to know if she was pregnant or some nonsense. And every, every mm-hmm. anniversary, they go out to the mailbox and they have these nasty letters for pretty much the rest of their life. 